Matthew chapter 4. Matthew chapter 4, verse 16. I want to show you this. Matthew chapter 4 from verse 16. He said, the people. Okay, go back to verse 15. Let's see. The land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali. He said, by the way of the sea beyond Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. And in verse 16, verse 16, he now says, the people which sat in darkness saw great light. And to them which sat in the region and shadow of death, light is sprung up. This was the prophecy of Isaiah in the book of Isaiah chapter 9 from verse 1. So it was a prophecy according to Isaiah. And it remained a prophecy until a mobile temple. Elohim, Emmanuel, God in the human body, appeared on the scene. Prophecy became a reality. Isaiah chapter 9, nevertheless, the dimness shall not be such as was in her vexation when at the first he was lightly afflicted in the land of Zebulun and in the land of Naphtali and afterwards did more grievous afflict her by the way of the sea beyond Jordan and Galilee of the nations. Verse 2, verse 2, verse 2, verse 2, verse 2, the people that walk in darkness have seen a great light they that dwell in the land of the shadow of death upon them had the light shined so every time there's darkness in a territory every time there's darkness in a family every time there's darkness in a business terrain what god looks for is a vessel that will bring light into the place that is why a businessman you don't go there to just do business you go there to manifest glory Because business is war. And it's a battle between light and darkness. Everywhere you see people congregate, you are going to see either light or darkness in that environment. And this is what happens to some of our young ladies who just think, I just need to go to campus. I just need to go to school. I wrote jam and I passed. I need to go to school. But they do not understand they are entering another terrain. And there are forces of darkness in the place that wants to deflower them. There are forces of darkness that want to compromise the standards of righteousness. So you don't just go there just to read. You go there prepared with the glory of God because there's darkness in the place. There are people sitting in darkness. There are people coming from dark families as agents of darkness that Satan will use to manipulate the destinies of men there are some others sent from the kingdom of darkness on assignment to recruit on assignment to possess on assignment to bring men and women especially the ones that are naive of the environment they enter the ones that has sustained spiritual naivety it brings them into the atmosphere of evil and wickedness a people that sat in darkness saw light so some families sit in darkness. Some cities sit in darkness. Waiting for the light bearer. Waiting for that one that will bring the light of the glory of God. Because there's something about light. When light appears, darkness disappears. There is no contest. There is no resistance. There is no battle between light and darkness. The reason darkness is present is because light is absent. But sometimes the carrier of lights functions in gross ignorance of why he has been sent to that business terrain. So you now need to know why you were sent to that campus. You need to know why you were sent to that business place. You need to know why you are in that office. You need to know some of the things because the enemy is going to use all manner of things to lure you out and to quench your light so that your light becomes darkness. Listen, when a people who, were, who are in darkness and God sends light to them, if the light bearer begins to live like them, then the people move from darkness to gross darkness. When the one that is meant to bring light 
now compromises and has become darkness. Then their darkness is upgraded. And it says that because they see it in darkness, death stepped into their region and it became the region of death. There are activities that happen in the region of darkness. There are activities that happen in the family of darkness. There are activities that happen in the city where there's darkness. Every time you see, like some cities and states in Nigeria, they are under gross darkness. I don't want to call names. But when you look at the activities of men, you can tell who governs that territory. When you look at the manifestations of men, you can tell who governs that territory. So you see environments where there's so much violence. You see places where there's so much rape. You see places where there's so much iniquity. You see places where there's so much immorality. You need to know there is a prince of darkness that governs that territory. You as a person need to rise and bring light 